Our sports minister, John Eno, has criticised the ill treatment of the Nigerian Super Eagles by Libyan authorities since he arrived at Al Abak Airport. The team was left unattended with players, officials and luggage stranded. The Nigerian Football Federation announced that the Super Eagles will no longer participate in the 2025 African qualifier against Libya due to their current ordeal. Eno has instructed the NFF president to file a formal complaint to CAF and has remained in touch with both the NFF president and value jet owners. During this morning, I was in a conference call with the president of CAF and the treasurer of CAF, and I tried to employ them that they, should, they have to work with Nigeria, you know, to see that what is the most important thing is not, you know, going to go and play in March tomorrow, you know, in which case, the, you know, nobody can guarantee the safety. I mean, I put it to CAF that if from yesterday for about 17 hours, CAF hasn't been able to directly relate with the Libyan Football Federation. What guarantees can CAF make that the team can be safe, even if they were in a psychological state, to still be part of them? But so that's where we are. As of the last time I tried to follow up, I mean, they were, you know, they had reached, you know, in the morning they were trying to say they can get aviation fuel. You know, most of the documentation, you know, for the airline was, had already been concluded. So I hope is that, you know, this kind, you know, this kind of gory, you know, situation, this kind of, I mean, it's an um, unfortunate situation, you know, been brought, you know, to an end. And, but having said so, I've also, you know, put it to CAF that there must be an adverse consequence, you know, upon, you know, you know the Libyan Football Federation. And you cannot achieve that Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.